morning and welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys through a work day in my life because it's Monday and Monday is the day that I do a bunch of work. But the thing is, I literally, today is my first time ever actually doing a bunch of work. Now you're probably confused. Don't be confused. I'm gonna take you through today. Time is going at 6 a.m. though. Yesterday night I set up all my stuff on the counter like my workout clothes, my workout shoes and stuff like that because listen, when working out becomes difficult, I don't work out, period. So I thought I would make it easy on myself and lay myself out the night before so that I actually maybe wake up because I love to just turn off my alarm and go back to sleep. But I'm gonna get changed into my workout set and I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh my God, what is such a good transition. This workout set is from Set Active and then this top is from Lululemon. I love Set Active's shorts. I don't know what they're called, but it's like the ripped ones because it makes me look more like a skinny legend than I actually am. Currently, I don't even know, but currently on the rooftop, the sun is beaming in right now. But I just did my meditation and my gratitude because I don't know. Everywhere that I be reading and all this stuff, it just says that gratitude is the highest form of like vibration or just like the best mood that you could be in. Like, and I know it might seem difficult, okay? But I be out here writing like, I'm so grateful for such a healthy dog, or I'm so grateful for my bike, or I'm so grateful to pick out a new workout set every day. Obviously, not a new one, but be able to like pick out. What is up with these SFX, this plane, bro? You know what I mean? It's just like the little joys. But I'm also currently filming a TikTok right now. So this is a work day. I'm gonna show you guys this. I got this tripod off of Amazon. It's actually the best tripod I've ever used for a phone. It's basically just like retractable. So it can go down like this and just turn into a stick if you need, which is so good for traveling. And it films this way. And also it films this way. So it's really good for TikToks and everything like that. So I've been filming a YouTube video and this today. Oh my God, look at this dog. Literally, uh, he's such a model. He knows when I'm recording. I'm bro, I'm telling you. This dude grew up with a mommy YouTuber. Like he knows. He knows. Look at that. The way he just laid down and posed. Oh my god. No one told him to do that. Zooming. He's zooming. What beautiful morning light coming in. Wow. Gorgina. Look, y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I woke up at 7 a.m. I did my meditation and my daily gratitude. Oh, yeah, we really did that. So proud of myself. Now we just have to do running. And then I've completed all of my morning habits. Just pulled an espresso shot. You're supposed to wait an hour and a half before drinking caffeine in the morning, but it's only been an hour, but I'm about to go on a run, so I'm pretty sure that cancels that out. Not too sure about that. I just wanted an espresso shot and a teacup. Cheers. Mm. Well, this dude always has to be in the shot. Like, I'm telling you, he was like over in the corner over there before, but he saw me recording and he's like, let me be in the shot. I'm telling you, this dude knows when he's on camera. No, babes, because the skyline is always so gorgina. Look at that. That's the Empire State Building that we're looking at. Wow. The time is currently, I think, 7.30, something like that. I'm currently at the park, and I'm going to go on a run. Typically, I like to run around my neighborhood, but that shit is so boring. But I feel like running in the park where you don't have to like think about where you're going, you don't have to stop or anything like that. It makes it so easy, plus you're like, in nature. It doesn't take too, too, too long to get here, so I have been running in the park lately. But I feel like I'm like living my like New York City dream because, guys, before I moved here, I would like go to Central Park and stuff like that and i'd be like wow if i moved to new york one day i would go running in the park every day and i literally never did that but i'm like what am i doing living in new york city and like not doing the things that i said i would do so i'm holding myself accountable and we're doing it and i'm so excited to take you guys with me because i feel like this is my first time showing you guys like my new routine and like what i've been doing lately because things have been different so i'm super excited to show you guys my day today because i feel like so many things have changed i haven't updated you guys and this is one of the new things that i've been doing and i actually really enjoy it so let's go I just ran 
two and a half kilometers but i do gotta say that running for me personally it's like the hardest thing i've ever gotten into it took me years and years and years like all the way up until last year to enjoy running like i never got runners high i always hated it and i never got why people ran but the thing is if you're trying to get into running just know that if you hate it that's normal literally just go outside run for a minute until you're tired and then go back inside like run until you're tired and also don't run really fast like start running really fast. so i know you may feel like it's like no work doing the slowest jog ever but doing it longer is better than doing it faster mm -hmm. The girlies are up. Daniela, what time did you go to sleep last night? 11. 11? This girl was this girl was slaving away editing the videos. Anyways, I'm gonna take a shower. The time is currently 8.50. That was such a good run. That was like actually the longest I've run in a minute. That was actually so good. And I got a new shot. Did you guys like that iPhone shot? Pretty good, in it? Farmer's dog. I saw too many YouTubers talk about it. By too many, I mean Natalie. And I was like, Ugh, what's she on about? She must be on about something. So I bought it. And it's actually been really good. He loves it. Still out here filming the reels. I'm trying to film YouTube videos and then also film like TikToks and reels at the same time. It is a little bit challenging, but I'm I'm gonna figure it out. Because if you guys don't know, I probably post daily vlogs on Instagram reels every single day. If you guys don't follow me there already. But I feel like it's a nice little update for when I'm not posting videos. And if you guys are wondering when I post videos, I post videos every my Monday and fam Friday. All right, time is currently 9.05. I just wrote down a do list for Raven. If you guys don't know, Raven is my new assistant. I literally found her off Instagram. I just put something on my story and I was like, hey, I'm looking for an assistant. She applied and everything like that. But is she here? Hey. Morning, girlie. Morning, girlie. I'm really excited for today though. Today's a really busy day. My days usually aren't as busy. I don't want you guys to think I'm booked and busy like this all the time. Like a lot of the times I'm just out here having fun. Like that's literally what it is. But if you guys don't know, I run a clothing business. It's called Alchemy. We haven't dropped since like maybe November, but that is because we've been working a lot behind the scenes on like rebranding and just figuring it all out. So I also want to show you guys a day in the life of a business owner because I know a lot of you guys just watch my YouTube videos and that's mostly what I do but I also do a lot of things on the side and a lot of what consumes my time is clothing stuff or fashion stuff which I haven't even like told you guys about or released yet so I want to try to be able to show you guys in case this may inspire you you know so this is the real life of what it is like that was awkward as fuck. I'm not gonna lie I know you guys are watching right now being like that was awkward Ugh. Ugh. okay I'm gonna shower Time is currently 10.36. I have a meeting in 25 minutes with the whole team. I literally, I haven't eaten. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Guys, I got ready. This is what the makeup's looking like. I gotta do like a brand deal today and then I also have an in-person meeting at one o'clock. Maybe I should eat. Maybe I'm gonna feel better. I don't know why I'm whispering. You know what? We're just gonna take it Zay by Zay. I've been cooped up in my room all morning. Hola, amigo. Another star added. So proud of myself. Tastes good. I have these whiteboards that I want to use, but I haven't unboxed them yet because I'm not going to lie, they look very big and hefty, but I think it's got to get done. All right, it is office organization time. Let me show you the before so you know what we're working with. Sterling, here we have this huge mess of electronics, which like literally anytime I have a cord, I've just been throwing it in this pile. We have my desk area, which I honestly never use, which I want to start using more. This room has such an amazing sunlight. I've always wanted this to be the office, but this is like the last of my worry, you know? But we're ready. We're ready to take on the challenge. I have all this stuff here, which I don't even know what this is. And then I bought this new shelf, which we built. This is from Amazon, by the way. I'll link it down below, but I want that to go right there, but we can't put that right there unless all that stuff is cleared out. I also bought new chairs, two new desks, have a lot of decorations and stuff. So first things first is getting this all cleared out. I think I'm just gonna put it in a plastic box and then organize it out there and then just be able to move everything that we need to move in and then slowly start putting the pieces together. Okay, everything is cleared out now. It's literally all in boxes outside. Nothing's organized, okay? But time to move this shelf over here. This, I don't know what that is, but it's giving affordable. Now I wanna move this over this way, I think, because 
I don't know what to do with it yet. All right, this this is not this is not cooperating, but it's okay. Okay, I'm looking at this and just it does not look right to me. It's giving out of place. So I think I want to move this desk over here now and try these two desks here. Okay, so we put it in the middle. I just didn't like how it like blocked the sunlight. So we tried putting it in the corner, but now it's just not symmetrical. So I'm thinking maybe I want to move one of those desks in this and then figure something out with this. setup is looking like right now. Here we have the same thing that I got from Facebook Marketplace right there. And then we have two desks. They're two different lengths, but it works out fine anyways. We just need to lower that one down to the height and then move all this stuff over to this desk now. This shelf um, was meant to go there, but we're moving it here now and it fits perfectly. But back here, I'm thinking what I want to do is get like built-in clothing racks on the wall, have one, hang up all the hoodies that I've ever made, and then just kind of be able to have this just be like close. So you think it can be like a whiteboard? Yeah. Or something, so yeah, we, we were literally talking about that. We need to get one. I got these chairs for Daniela and Kaylee, which, oh my gosh, how beautiful are these? I got them on Amazon. Perfect green color. And it's like the same price as like a good office chair. So let's move them in. I'm playing some jazz and we're unboxing the whiteboards right now so we can write on them. This is a fat stack of papers and it is a lease. write this down that's the thing just like the dates for going forward I want to do these little recaps every single Monday at 10 a.m. like I think like having like set time of the day where it's like I'm focused on the, my work aspect of my life right here graphics are all the same it's like the time Steps, like, okay. Okay. I love the graphics on vlog too. I don't know what was different. It was different than vlog one, but I liked it a little bit more. When is the final? Like, when can I jump in to put all the links in? Alright, time is currently 12.40, headed out to a meeting into the city. This is the fit. I think the jacket really added a lot to it. What are y'all thinking? <laughs> the helmet? Not so much, but we're headed out. Where is this internet called, Raven? Babes, I don't even know. Oh, you look too much of a slave for me not to vlog this entrance right now. Time is currently 6.30, y'all. I haven't even checked my knee yet. Honestly, not bad at all. You know what's f***ed up though? My finger. Do you guys see how all my fingers dip it down? This one though, it doesn't dip it, it goes up. I'm like, let me call my lawyer. <laughs> Guys, time is currently 7.59. Oh my God, I didn't record it, but I just filmed a TikTok brand deal that I had to do. And like, I literally was crying like an hour ago and I was gonna push it off, but I was like, no, I'm trying to do so this thing called be responsible and like follow my deadlines. But was I not just filming it now? You were. Oh, and I just uploaded a video too. I'm like, the show doesn't end. I'm just trying to distract myself from my thoughts because I'm not gonna lie. Like my thoughts can be dangerous. She came in here and I told her to stay here. She was gonna leave and I was like, no, what are you doing? Like stay. Like at this point I'm fiending just to like, not at this point, but I'm just saying Kaylee's like never just posted up in my bed ever. Like that's how you know I'm fiending is like when she's literally posted up in my bed. Oh, maybe. <laughs> This sounds so out of pocket, but I'm like, oh, maybe like having friends is really nice. I think it's because I'm so used to like being alone. So anytime everything, anything's ever wrong, I just have to fight my thoughts all day long. But having someone like next to you is a little bit easier. No, but like y'all know me, I'm chronically alone. So I'm literally just distracting myself reading my comments right now, like truly, because I'm like, oh, you guys are so nice. And it just like makes me not think about the fact that I just crashed today. Hello everybody, it is currently 11.40 and I've been rotting in bed all day. I was supposed to go to an event at 11 o'clock, but clearly that did not happen. Honestly, I've just been crying just cause I've just been worried. Like that's all. I think I'm just feeling all types of emotions right now. Okay, 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 okay. I've decided to get off my ass and get my day started because sitting in this mother freaking sadness and I think a lot of it's just uncertainty is doing absolutely nothing for me, nothing at all. And I should just continue with my day. 
I have Rushad, the graphic designer for Alchemy, waiting on me to send him colors because I was supposed to send it on Monday. Didn't end up sending on Monday, which was yesterday, and now it's Tuesday and he's waiting on those to get started because we have a two-week deadline to get the Christmas draw done for Alchemy, and he needs these colors to get started, and I've just been rotting in bed. Not rotting, I've been relaxing. Okay, I have to be nicer to myself. Welcome to a realistic work day in my life. Mm. Donuts? Who bought donuts? Did you buy donuts? Yeah, you want to? Oh, I don't know. I was just asking. Yeah, you can have some. Oh, Slay editing the first class video. Hello, hello, hello. Time is currently two o'clock. It is Wednesday now. So I guess this really is a work week in my life, but I just had a quick phone meeting with Justin. He runs the Alchemy operations and the manufacturing for that. That's what we're expecting, yeah. I'm, they're expecting them to be ready tomorrow. You guys already have the fabric there to make the actual hoodie, right? Yeah, they said that they're, they're shipping out the... They said they were able to speed up the timeline of the fabric by, by seven days. If you guys don't know, I'm sure actually a lot of you guys don't know, I run Alchemy independently. So there's no like third party company because typically with like merch or clothing lines, there's a person in between that's actually getting the warehouse, getting the manufacturing, doing the samples and everything. And then they just take a cut. But for me, I'm the one actually sourcing out to all of these manufacturers, but obviously I have the help of Justin. It's a lot, a lot, a lot more work, but it's just so much more fulfilling because like I get to actually learn about the process Process, learn about how everything's done, sit in on the meetings, really just understand what's going into my clothes and how it's being made. It's just been super cool, especially like building out the team for the graphic designers and all that stuff. So I actually have to pick out colors today. We just finished the July drop literally like last week, but now I have to finalize the Christmas drop that comes out in November this week. And it's literally May. Rushad just texted me like prototypes, examples of what we think we're gonna do. Let me show you what's coming out in July. So you guys can really see. This is a sneak peek of what's coming out. This is how the hoodie started. Like this is how the draft started and it came to what you guys just saw. But yeah, it's been super cool, super hands-on. But right now Kaylee and I have a meeting to go over Alchemy photo shoots, personal photo shoots, our trip to LA together. And Kaylee is kind of doing what would you say? How would you describe it? Because for me, I would describe it as like creative direction. Yeah, creative direction of my life. Literally, she's creative directing my life. So it's been super, super, super cool. Because she's a Pinterest girly. I and am. I am not a Pinterest girly. I love Pinterest so much. Oh, we see the slide. Ooh. I mean, aside from that, what are the other details about it? Okay, great. Okay. I'll talk to them about the dates and then I'll get back to you. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so that was just a phone call for Jubilee. If you guys don't know, I know you guys know. You guys have definitely watched Jubilee before. I used to be obsessed with them in high school. And Kaylee actually watches their videos all the time and she brought them up and next thing you know they're in my dms and they want to shoot um a video together and i'm like whoa like i i actually am really excited about this opportunity because it's something that i grew up watching so i'm really really excited so we just had a meeting and we're trying to set in stone a date but that was just that hey, guys. hey. All right, time is currently 4.27. I just got off the phone. It was like maybe an hour long meeting with my managers and then also just other people within the management that I've never met before. During those calls, we basically just go over what brand deals we have this week, what brands we're in the talks with, any events that I'm also attending, and just kind of like get a recap of everything, deadlines, like when we can submit things in. We have those every single week on Wednesday at a certain time. Those are just like team meetings, but then us as a team, you guys saw on Monday, we also have like our internal team meetings, which focus on like actual Actually getting the content done but right now I am I just sent another email for an employment agreement whoa like it's just actually so crazy like employing people I don't know I think it's so crazy because it's like that's somebody's like livelihood you know what I mean like and it's all responsible on me but I think that that's the motivation for me to keep going it's a lot of responsibility but I think that like taking care of others is like the drive that gets me to keep going and it's like more than just waking up to just post a video it's like no like I got shit to take care of and people to take care of you know but anyways Haley is currently working on the deck and I think she just added more things so we're gonna I go so much. we're gonna go look through that. Okay, not you using your own font. Duh. But this is what we're working on right now. We're gonna insert it on screen while we go through it. We're planning the three million shoot for Instagram and just like the shoot in general. So we have this photographer, her name is Ella. We've just known each other for a while and she wants to come to New York and we're gonna do a shoot together. So Kaylee's working on a deck right now. We still have, you know, our main concept. I kept those these same words, powerful, kooky, colorful, playful, but I continue to use like key terms. I really, really like the ultra feminine, the playful, the extra, like extravagant hair, kooky. Bows, pearls, extra. Like I love how she has these little sparkles in here mm. and I just love, I, I love yeah. these looks. I really I mean? like it. Now it's just like, oh, what do we finalize on? Like what yeah. is the look? No, and I think it could be do cool doing a shot with all three of us as well, mm. you know? 
And yeah. it'd be really cool. Oh, so much you thinking! You know, and like here you can even have like an old like camcorder. Like I have my camcorder like on the table. Just like little things too. Represent me. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Look, and like littlest pet shops on the yes. table. You know what I mean? Yes. Because look at this. Yes. But, but like, also, you know what I mean? Like, you know what's little, so like, fucking crazy, bro? What? This is where I'm like, whoa. Like I've really been doing this since from the start. So when I was younger, my first video that I ever posted on this channel, the OG video is this one. I'm about to show you guys it. And I think you guys are about to be too stunned to speak. Chapters that are auto-generated by YouTube. Why is there only four? and one of them is called penthouse and if you play it it's called penthouse what the f am i doing 12 years ago my first video ever on the channel talking about a penthouse and now i live in a penthouse isn't that mad call me to lulu but this is confirmation that oh i've been new i've been new and the universe and god been new that's all i gotta say all I gotta say. Oh my gosh, I'm literally filming a reel right now, um, organizing my like shower and cleaning it out. And I just got a text from Justin and he sent over sizing to approve. Wait, this is so cool. This is a blank of my hoodie with nothing on it. And they printed these out so I could see for size reference how big it'll be when it's printed on. This is like the process after the designs are made, after the hoodies and stuff like that. So cool insane i'm gonna text this to rashad right now and he's gonna be so stoked like imagine being like a graphic designer or just like somebody that works in art and just seeing your painting your drawing your art just like on a real thing that people are gonna be able to wear i can't wait to see his feeling that he's gonna get okay i just got my first sample in from vietnam yesterday but i've been so busy i haven't been able to open it i'm so excited this is heavy Basically, we're just trying to replicate the fabric right now because we just need a bigger manufacturers. Okay, this hood is not it. Ugh, and it's too heavy. It's like too much, just too hot. The ribbing though is correct, so that's good. We're off to a good start. I mean, we're getting there though, but the hood is off and the hood's the most important part. Wow, it's just, this is just so much better. This fit is a mother fit. And guess what? There's a new pocket for the passport because Raven's like, travel, 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 travel. You need to tap into the travel. This new hood is so far though. There used to be like the stitching all the way down here, but I wanted to do a graphic on the hood because I feel like the hood is such an important part. Like when you're sleeping on an airplane and you go like this to be like a face mask, I want people to be able to see the logo. So switch that up and it's looking really good. Like even picking it up, it's just, oh my gosh. Heavier is not better because this is where I'm going to get into the Number two. I thought, you know, heavier is better quality. That's what you think. No, that's whatever. But the thing is, if it's heavy, it does not fall correctly. Now, the pocket is eating itself. I mean, the sleeves look too big because it's just falling too hard on itself. You know, it's like kind of creating this effect when it should be still like, like it's so bottom heavy because it's so heavy. And this hood is disgusting. This hood is disgusting. Like instant ick. Instant ick. I'm getting Roblox right now. Why do I look like a linebacker in football? Like the ribbing is actually really nice. This is perfect. That's the only thing that's they a problem. They slayed this that's shit. And I'm not gonna lie though, the ribbing is like the hardest part in my opinion. <sighs> you just need to know if you like these so then they can start dying the fabric. <laughs> 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 Digital Beetle Boy is here. Hey, Lily! Digital Beetle Boy is here! Hey! <laughs> We're gonna have a little Vietnam watch party. I'm uploading it right now. You're uploading Vietnam number one right now? Yes. <gasps> Yay! I know, I put in my caption that I posted it and then I realized, oh no, I forgot I needed to post this. <laughs> this is a good shot. Is it? Yeah. Yes, man, can you come here and do it? What, what else are you doing? Nothing, I'm just posting it and then I have to figure this out. But I put on my fucking Instagram that I posted a video and I lied. I forgot that I needed to post <laughs> a video. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't seen the intro that y'all did. I haven't seen it. You haven't? Oh shit, so it's actually a watch party. I haven't seen the whole video. My mom, me neither. Really me neither, and I'm uploading it with the trust of Daniela. Where is Daniela? I'll look at them right away after I do this. We are currently at the AT&T Motorola event. Thank you. Okay, I'm currently at brunch. We already ate, but we got a birthday cake because it looked good. I was looking at the table next to me and I was like, oh my God. Look at this, oh my gosh. So gorgeous, guys. Do you guys see the sprinkles? I'm here with the girls right now. You wanna say hi? Hello. Can you introduce yourselves? I'm Kate. I'm Megan. We've been so productive. We've been talking. Well, we've been chatting shit. But also, we've been like with our journals and everything like that. And like, you know, like doing like business things. Journal She's girl. got her journal here as well. Oh. 
Yeah, that way? Yeah. Right, towards you? Yeah. yeah. I put the wrong address in. Previously, we just kind of had things like in a spreadsheet where it was just updated and like yeah. whenever there's a wrong address, yeah. then the warehouse would update their system. But how do you guys do it? You want to look at the back station just see how everything okay. flows. We started off with just two thousand thousand hoodies and we bumped it up to 5,000. I wasn't expecting it to sell out like super fast again, but it did happen and I just was not prepared for that. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest. All night long, she putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest. Couldn't know my lines, I'm sending them but the